Welcome back to Python 1. In this video, we are going to learn about while loops, also known as conditional loops. We will compare them to for loops and then work through an example. As you know, for loops execute a set of commands for a fixed number of times determined by the range. In contrast, while loops execute a set of commands until a stopping condition occurs. We don't need to know when to end the loop in advance. We start with an opening statement that includes a boolean condition and a colon, indent the commands to be repeated, which is the body of the loop, and cancel the indent at the end, just like we do for a for loop. Let's start by building and testing a condition generator using randint. Tina is going to count dots every 10 steps. We use short thick lines to create the dots and a for loop to set out the line of dots. However, each time we run the program we want a random number of dots. Randint is used to generate a variable for the for loop range. Let's add a print R line at the end to check our results. So we'll set the line width first. Nice and thick to make a big dot. And then our variable. We'll give it a range because we don't want uh, infinite numbers of dots. We want something reasonable. So we'll set a range from 1 to 8 and then write our for loop. There's our randomly generated range number. And then Tina is going to start by picking up her pen and going 10 steps. And we'll put her in position to create the dot. We'll put the pen down so she can draw and go forward just a short distance to create the dot itself and then we'll reset her back on that 10 step interval and that's it. These actions will be repeated over and over again until we've met the number of times set by the R value. Once we're done with the loop let's get Tina back to home so she doesn't wander off into the sunset and we'll print that R value to check to see if we're making the right number of dots. So here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots and that matches our R value. And this time we have two dots. So we know our random generator is working and now we can go ahead and create a while loop and use that information. Our objective is to have Tina count the randomly generated dots and print out the total. It's a good idea to analyze the steps before writing the code, so let's do that. Tina's actions will be based on the presence of a colored dot. We can use the keyword on color as our boolean test. If Tina senses color, true, she will carry out the steps in the loop. If not, false, she will exit the loop. Tina doesn't need to draw, so we'll keep her pen up. In fact, our loop won't work if her pen is down, as we will see. We know that the first dot will always be on 10, 0, and there will always be at least one, so we can start her at that position. We also need to initiate the counting variable d before the loop and set it to 0. Within the loop, every time Tina detects a dot, the counter will increase by 1 and Tina will move ahead 10 steps. The first time she lands on a spot with no color, on color will evaluate to false, and that is our stopping condition for the while loop. After we exit the loop, we will write a print statement that describes how many dots she detected. Now to write the code. We don't need this anymore, so I'm going to replace it with a very quick comment that just says while loop. Now after I've written my program and it's working the way I like it, I'm going to go back and rewrite the comments so they make sense to someone else. 
So we said we're going to pick up Tina's pin. That's what we'll do. And then we're going to set her on the beginning position. And initiate our counting variable. Now we're ready to start the loop. While Tina on color, start it just like a for loop. D, and that's what we're going to do. If, she, if it's testing true, we're going to increase our counter by one and then move to the next dot. That's it for the loop. Very simple. And what we want to do at the end is print out how many dots we found. So we'll write Tina found. And the final value for D. And let's call them blueberries. We'll make it part of a story. Okay, so now we have our while loop. Let's run it and see what happens. We got one, two, three, four, five blueberries, and we got an accurate statement here that she found five blueberries. Very good. Let's try it one more time. Well, this time she found eight blueberry blueberries, and our loop worked. It stopped after she passed the last blueberry. This is exactly what it should be doing. Our while loop iterates as long as Tina's test for on color is true. It stops the first time that the test is false. What happens if we never trigger a false evaluation? Let's comment out our pen up line and see what happens. Without that pen up line in there, Tina's going to keep drawing a line and we would predict that she will never get out of the loop because she will always be on color. All right, our program is running and running. You can see the little wheel down here, it's working. Well, we know something's wrong because it just has not taken that long to run this program before. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. A loop that keeps iterating over and over again without stopping is known as an infinite loop. Well, let's go ahead and uncomment that line so We've got some decent results. Hooray! Oh wow, she only found one blueberry this time. And we could write some extra code in there to print out a nicer print statement. So when she finds one, it just says one blueberry. And when she finds more than one, it prints out blueberries. So we can correct grammar in our print statements using if-else statements. This, they're useful for all kinds of things. To sum up, while loops repeat a set of actions based on a Boolean condition, the body of the loop will be repeated until the Boolean condition evaluates as false. This is known as the stopping condition. While loops are used when we don't know in advance how many times we need to repeat the actions. By comparison, for loops have fixed iterations set by the range value. Remember to test your code carefully as you go and watch out for those infinite loops.